Right guys, let's go and have a look inside this de Havilland Comet. I've just been reading the sign, apparently it was the last comet to serve with an airline and it flew until 1981 when it was brought here to East Fortune Airfield, but it smells like an old airplane. It's quite big inside, but I don't know about you, but I'd be a little bit uncomfortable. There's not that much space for, uh, for your knees there, but you can imagine flying one of these in the heyday. So the Comet, world's first um, jet passenger airliner, had loads of problems at the start with metal fatigue, um, something linked to with the, the cabin being pressurized and depressurized. And then, uh, yeah, they lost quite a few at the beginning. Apparently, uh, when they started crashing and they were grounded, it gave the Americans an opportunity to um, kind of get ahead really with the Boeing 707. But uh, look at that, you've even got, Rear facing seats, I don't know about you, I, I just wouldn't want to fly facing this way. Apparently the, uh, what's the Air Force's airplane called? The Vickers, uh, big passenger plane, VC-10, apparently they were facing the rear as well. But have a look inside the, the flight deck there. Surprisingly small for such a big aircraft. What do you reckon, Reese? It's very, very cool, this. 